I just realized something after watching Cold Pursuit. Liam Neeson is the action star of Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. What's up, guys? Welcome to Movie and Points, movie review of Cold Pursuit, the newest film from director Hans Peter Mullen, stars Liam Neeson, Emmy Rossum, Laura Dern, William Forsythe, and Tom Bateman. Uh, this is a remake of Hans Peter Mullen's original Norwegian film, which stars Stellan Skarsgård, is called In Order of Disappearance, and is basically the story of Liam Neeson basically plays a snowplow driver. It's pretty simple. His son is given a heroin overdose from these gangsters. Tom, Bla Tom Bateman plays the main bad guy drug lord who is over the top and crazy, you know, and when his, when this guy is killed, when the son is killed, Liam Neeson goes after the henchmen. When they are killed, Tom Bateman's character thinks it's the rival drug lord gang, which is the, in this Indian drug, you know, drug lord people. And so they, he kills the, the son of the Indian chief and then it becomes a turf war. So Liam Neeson not only has killed a whole bunch of people, but he's created this turf war with a bunch, a couple of rival drug lords. And so we get our story of how everything plays out. You know how it's going to play out if you've seen these types of movies before. And, you know, this movie is, it is what it is. It's so bad it's good type of movie. Uh, Liam Neeson's having a lot of fun. This movie's way funnier than it should be. The villains are over the top. They make no sense. None of this story really makes any sense because when, you know, the son is killed and Liam Neeson just goes off on a vendetta, he's killing people in weird fashions and how he's never really discovered doing these types of things on cameras. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. And it's still a lot of fun, but it just doesn't make any sense. And like I said, Tom Bateman plays the, the main drug lord and, all his people underneath him are giving these like code names and uh, Tom Bateman's his character's named Viking. And this is just another movie in Liam Neeson's planes, trains and automobiles and now snowplow style movies where he's just, he's just become this guy that just does weird, crazy action sequences and you love him for it. I mean, there's nothing more you can say about it. You know, the fact that he's a snowplow driver and he's doing these crazy things. It's just, it's a funny movie. Um, but uh, Emily Rossum is in this. So she plays like one of the cops who's trying to track down with the, how everything's going down. And so, you know, she is there. She's having fun. Laura Dern's kind of in this movie a little bit. William Forsythe plays, you know, somebody with uh, in Liam Neeson's past. And it's just, there's so much crazy stuff going on in this movie. And then... Every time someone dies, there's a title card that pops up with the name of the person that just died. So it's really funny when you think about it. When, you know, it would say someone dies and his character and the character's name comes up and then their code name comes up. And it's just, it's really clever. This movie's a lot more fun and funny than it should be. But this is the type of movie it is. You can tell Liam Neeson just, he's enjoying what he's doing. You can tell everybody's just in on the joke. You know, the fact that these two drug lord rival gangs are just killing each other. And it's just, I don't know. I, I kind of, I enjoyed it for what it was. It's not a great movie at all. It's, you know, kind of like Unknown or The Commuter or something like that. Where, you know, the movie's going to be bad, but you have fun with it. So, like I said, the, the fact that it's in the snow and you can do cool things with that. And the fact that everybody's just goofy and out of place. It's a, it's a fun time. So, but there you go. That, I mean, like I said, there's not much more else you can say. Everybody's just over the top and crazy. And the things, the way that things play out is just, it is what it is. So, but there you go. That's my take on cold pursuit. Definitely worth a checking out if you like those types of movies. So, but with that, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, remember to rate, subscribe, check out the YouTube channel, Facebook, and Twitter, email and lapola113 at gmail.com. If you have any questions, so what's your favorite Liam Neeson action movie? If you've seen this one, you enjoy it. Tell me in the comments below, but otherwise remember to subscribe, hit the notification button, and we'll see you guys on the next video.